quarry it's uh, harvesting the crop on the land um, but there is a quarry around here so Comes a little footbridge now. The sheep on it. Very picturesque. Look. And a random trainer. Strange. Following the main route now. Into the into Wakeley main route into Wakeley Great Wood. So I need to follow this path for, for a little while. Then I can dive off into the woodland um, when I'm a bit further away from the main car parks and people. So I don't know if you can see that in the in the distance. Try and put a picture up close I can get fence That is Laxton Hall. Um it's like a mansion. Um it's uh, now it's residential care for the Polish community. And that's Laxton Hall, so I'm right I'm right on the border of the forest now. I think what I'm gonna do is dive back in here I think I'm trying to find somewhere oh dear me deep I'm trying to find somewhere up here there you go that is deep hang on I'm stuck Heavy, heavy machinery through here. And the tracks. Really deep. Yeah, very, very deep. There's a lot of work going around here as well. Oh, so I think down here looks a bit better now. Finally, see over that, over that way. Loads of fern. With brambles in the lace. Very uneven to walk on. Whereas over here seems a lot, lot better. I'll take a little wander down here. I might just <coughs> stop and uh, make myself a brew for a little while. It's quarter past six now, so a couple of hours will be dark, or almost dark. Um, yeah, I think somewhere around here might do. There's a bit of a track here. Now I don't know, I haven't got a clue whether that's an animal, animal track or a human track, but we're all animals, right? Um, so I just want to get out of the way a little bit in case some inquisitive dog walkers or dogs or whatever decides to uh, venture down this neck of the woods Have a, this looks like a good place as any I think yeah it's a bit of cover there as well a bit of cover there um, when I came in old old um, logging track there it goes down that way um, I think here we'll do
Right, here's my stall. I think it was five pound from Go Outdoors. But anyone that's used these stalls in the forest know that the seat, the feet sink into the ground. So uh, I've got a mine, put some 15 mil copper tea pieces in the end to get a bit more of a footprint. Um, which hopefully will work if I sit on that. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully it won't sink into the ground. But I'll uh, I will uh, give it a test today. Never tried it before. Let you know. It's quite soft here. I've lost the rubber end caps off them as well. A bit close that trunk there, but I guess it'll be alright for one night. There, the door inside. On my top, I've only got three pegs on this side, so it is blooming, blooming out a little bit. I'm sure it'll be alright for one tonight. And to rig it up, I've got a line going up to a stub on the tree, down to straight down to here. And all we need to do to let it get down is do that. And nice flat. So if anybody's walking along the paths, hear them, you can drop the tent, no one's going to see it. Lovely. So I've gone classy tonight for food. One stop chili con carne. and reduced batches, 54p, maybe a cup of tea as well. So my little feet are holding up, and I'm still just about. This little gas stove, see if it works. I've got Last time I went out, I had trouble with it. For some reason, it didn't want to work. I haven't checked it since. That's probably a bit of a... Oh, sounds all right. Okay. He's sparking. Yeah, that's all right. Good. Right, in my cup. Water in there. Good little stay that has. So like I said, last time I cooked this chilli in the tin, it just boiled over. So I'm going to try cooking it in a bain marie today. Um, so I've got the big pot. Put that in, fill it with water, heat it, see what happens. With the lid off, of course.
must say, I've never done this before. It's only an, in an attempt. Squirrel there with the there's the stuff in his mouth. It's alright actually, it hasn't burnt it so I think it worked. Look at that sunset there as well. All out of night now. Getting to sleeping bag. Yeah, watch a movie for a little bit uh, before returning for the night. So I'll catch up with you bright and early first thing in the morning. morning it's uh, half five in the forest I've just got up and as you can see um, the tarp tent is still standing you can see that um, there we go that's better isn't it yeah tarp tent still standing you can see there, it's a bit gappy at the sides. Um, I'm not sure whether that is because of the tarp I've got. Maybe other types have m more eyelets. Tie it tighter. Um, but it was fine. Didn't didn't rain last night. Um, but there still. It's still all, all up. I left the door open last night as well because it's quite warm. Um, a few bugs, and spiders and beetles got in, but it was all right. It was. So let's make myself some porridge. Um, then I'll continue to get packed up and uh, be on my way out of here. Yeah, quite a nice night. Hopefully you can see me. 5.45 now. Cleared up. Left no trace. Yeah, I'll pack my back and make my way out of here. Well, 
what a nice night that was. Really successful with the tarp tent. So the area I was in last night was uh, Wakerley Woods and um, it's not far from Rutland Water, Leicestershire, Northamptonshire area. It once was part of Rockingham Forest. Um, I think Rockingham Forest must have been vast. Back in the uh, times of the Norman Conquest The uh, remnants that we have here now of, of Waverley Wood, still vast, just pine, see there, just pine forest everywhere. And again, it's deadly quiet again as well. Alright then guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you have, please drop a like and consider subscribing to my channel, appreciate it. Thanks. I'll be back on the next one um, in a short while. To find another location of where I'm going to go to for another night out in the woods. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.